Welcome back to What Are Teenibs with General Disturbance. This is the Object 261, the Tier 10 Soviet SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Cliff, and it's under the command of Oxagon. And we've got two of his replays featuring this very same RT. He's got three marks of excellence on his 18 inch howitzer. It was 18 inch, 18 centimeter howitzer. Yes, yeah, so it'd be really something if it was 18 inch. That would be as big as a battleship. No, it's an 18 centimeter howitzer doing 800 alpha, 45 millimeters of pen. And standard reload is 30.68 seconds. And well, oxygon has got 24.1. Okay, for his first shot, he's aiming towards the road leading up to the lighthouse, expecting one of the enemy light tanks to make his way up there. And we've got a Rhine metal panzer wagon trying to get up there as quickly as he can. Well, he managed to make it up without being molested so far. I think the enemy must be occupied on something else. We've got a Progetto 65 trying to make his way towards the sniper's nest. Oh, well, he just took a direct hit. Now, he has fairly thin armor, so he's probably suffered after that. Unfortunately, he's still around. There he is now, and he's still stunned. But he did take some damage from on top of the cliff, so on top of the lighthouse, so well, it appears that he is suffering. And that shell looked as if it landed nearby. Now we've got a bit of a problem down by the donut. The enemy has decided to push on that particular area of the map. And we've got a Viz 55 down there. And he's trying to defend. And an Object 277 as well. Just having a quick look at all the other RTs and vehicles rather. Going back for the Progetto. Rounds out. Oh, well, that landed well short of the target, but it did stun the Progetto. Yes, it's, it's a ding dong battle going on over here. The 277 just got set alight. And he's gone. The 907 got him in the end. That's a particularly good medium tank, the 907. Our Viz 55 is doing the best he can, but of course, he's got a long reload and he's out the game. And that kills the AMX 13105. So Oxygon has got his kill, but the Super Conqueror is now facing three enemy tanks at the same time. Now, Oxygon is his only hope because, of course, there's nobody else nearby to actually help this Super Conk. And it looks like the enemy. Well, that's a good shot, but it didn't actually hit the Viz 55. It actually landed behind him, but he did manage to get 181 hit points off that. In fact, he picked up a whole load of stun assists by actually stunning the IS-7 for 1,646 in total. But the Super Conqueror is taken out by the enemy Heshbon. Rounds out on him. Direct hit, 218 hit points. Okay, there's the enemy Viz 55 going around the corner to try and shoot at our teammates a little further up. We're not loaded yet, but we will be momentarily. But the Viz 55, oh, he's gone. The leopard got him. Okay, we've got an enemy gorilla who's just derped our hash barn. A lot of hash barns in this game. Oxagon gets a direct hit on the gorilla, but he doesn't penetrate him. Only 308 hit points from that shot, but he's still in reload. The Rhino Sorrente moving up as well. It looks like the gorilla's trying to pull back because he knows he's facing two tier 10 tanks. But he can't go too far back because if he does, he'll get hit. And he knows Oxagon's around because he's just been hit by him. And he's now been hit by him again. 298 from that one. Rhino Sorrente moves up. Gets turped by the Gorilla. Unfortunately, the Rhino Sorrenti goes down to the enemy Manticore. But the Gorilla on that on the enemy team is very barely alive now. And he's out the game as well. The M48 pattern got him. Okay, so it's a bit, a bit hectic down this end of the map. And we're just one tank down on the enemy. We were a lot down just uh, at the start. Oh, but well, that's a direct hit and penetration on the enemy Heshbarn. So he's suffering at the moment. He lost 763, which is a low roll penetration. 
And we're trying to work out where the best enemy. There's the Manticore. He's already got one kill in this game. Trying to line up a shot on him. Rounds out. It wings him. And it, it looks like it tracked him momentarily. But I think he's in reload. He's fired his round at the FP4005. And the enemy FP4005 gets nuked. He's out the game. He gets hash bond. And now the Manticore is coming back for a second try. He does get his shot in. And can Oxagon get him? He's waiting for it. Yes, he does. Nice kill. Yeah, that'll teach the Manticore to go waltzing around in circles. Unfortunately, it means a lot of tanks have died in that corner of the map. And we're down to, well, both sides have got seven tanks left each. Okay, we've got an enemy object. The object 268 version 4. He's just changing direction to shoot. And he's now out the game. Yeah, you stood still too long. And of course, Oxcon's not going to miss a chance like that to put you out the game. That's why he has three marks on his barrel. Okay, a lot of enemy tanks in this quarter. We've got the 277 down here. The M48 pattern is going up to the Western Pass. Rounds out. Another kill. That's his fourth. Oxcon's having a good game. He's only got one round of standard HE left now. Uh, he's got six rounds of the other ammunition. The enhanced ammo, he's got uh, HE, he's got four and two armor piercing. Okay, we've lost sight of the enemy, but there's the pattern. Rounds up. Direct hit, 306. Now he's loading the enhanced HE. Okay, the Enhanced HE, for those who uh, are unaware, is capable of doing 1,000 hit points of damage. The Armor Piercing Rounds will only do 520 hit points, but they do have much more penetration, 334 millimeters. And he just got a hit on the M48 for 393. That's 60 TPs hiding around the corner, but the M48 can't move from there without getting shot at. And our guys are now starting to get to the edge of the cliff. And the Manticore's moving in. The Yudas is near their cap area. This could be a kill. Oh, if only that had been standard HG, he would have got some stun as well. The Panther Wagon's coming in to try and harass the 60TP. Got to stay out of the way of that gun, the 152mm. Unfortunately, he hasn't managed to do that. And it might be the... Oh, he did get the kill after all. And that is the last kill of the game. Well, that was a really hectic first battle, but just look at this. It's an ace tanker game for Oxagon in the Object 261. He got a Bruiser Medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 16. A Fighter Badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. And he got a Confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. No, that actually went to the Heshpal on his own team who actually did die, but he got 4,696 hit points before he went, and the highest damage in the game. The second highest was the Heshpan on the enemy team, who got 4,320 hit points of damage before he died, and the Gorilla 15 on the enemy team also got 4,055, but yes, he was terminated as well. Oxagon actually managed to get the fourth highest damage in that game. He got 3,610 hit points, and he didn't die. And in fact, actually, he got the highest number of kills in the game. He got four. Three kills went to the Shriv 103B and also to the Object 907 on the enemy team. I did say they are dangerous medium tanks, 907s. And not a lot of people have them. If you do have one, you must be a very good player because they only give them out to the best. When it came to base XP, it's Oxcon. He's got that one. 974 went to him. 948 went to the Hesh Barn. 871 went to the Panzer Wagon who did a very good job considering he's got very little armor, um, but he was just about everywhere on, on the game. Let's have a look at detail. 16 shots fired, so he still had four rounds left at the end of the game. Eight direct hits on the enemy, one penetration, that was an HE round on the Hesh Barn. 15 splash, damage of 3,610 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged 10 of the enemy, killed four, 
and did 2,318 hit points of stun assist off 11 stuns. He earned 42,791 credits from the battle, 19,256 from battle payments, 50,000 from personal mission payout, and 133,443 credits altogether. After deductions for ammunition and consumables, he took away 81,203 credits profit. 974 XP times 2 for the first victory, 2,922 experience points altogether. So there must have been something missing there that we're not seeing, but uh, that's what replays for you. They don't have all the information. You never see the win eight, so you don't know how well they performed, and you can't see how well some of the other players performed. But that was a great battle for Oxagon. He got two of the columns. He actually got the highest number of kills and the highest base XP. Let's see how he does in the second replay. The second replay is on the outpost map, and we're on the West Spawn. Okay. I expect that he'll probably want to line up with the centre of the castle, so he can get great shots right into the enemy tanks as they try to occupy it, and you have to do that by moving over to this corner. Okay, it's nicely lined up, ready to go. And the first victim turns up and it's an STB-1. And that is a, a splash right in front of him, 329, and he got stun assist as well. Now he's changing position because the enemy RT positions are well known to both sides. And there's a possibility of counter battery. Unfortunately, our 121 went in against the enemy Udes. And despite the fact the Udes got hit, rounds out. Ooh, we tracked the TVP. And he is taking damage. But unfortunately, we lost our Leopard 1 and the 121B. Oh, but the enemy lost their TVP as well. So that's good news. Okay, so there's. A lion at the other end of the road. Dialing in as quickly as we can. Rounds out. Direct hit. 330. Did get some stun, but no stun assist off that one. And the enemy are actually confronting our guys on the south end of the map as well. And in fact, there's a lot of enemy tanks, including a number of lions. And this is when they first came out. We're almost loaded. Gonna have a go with that one. No, change our mind to the 907. Direct hit. And he hit the lion next to him as well. And although the 907 cured his stun very, very quickly, the lion didn't. He opted to keep his stun for the moment. We know how vulnerable the lions were to Arty. And I think he's made the right decision to go after that 907 because we know how good they are. Okay, he's going for the 705, I think, and the 907. Whoa! Well, he stunned them both, and he actually got some damage on the 907, but it was only 188 from that one. We've just lost the lion. Our teammates are using that lion for cover, but unfortunately, we just lost another lion. And we also lost the Leopard 1, so now we're just down to one tank, and that flank has now fallen. But it looks like the enemy are in trouble, because, yes! They just lost that line, and although they're coming towards us very rapidly, which means that Oxagon's going to have to either escape or get ready for a shotgun, it looks like he's going to try and get a, a kill on this line here. He stayed behind to get shots on our teammates, and he's vulnerable. Rounds out. Well, didn't get that one in. But it looks like some of our teammates have actually come back and they've managed to kill the 907. So he's out the equation. And it looks like we've got some protection from an E3 who's actually occupying the other side of the cap. So if the enemy does turn up, we'll do the shotgun. He's prepared for it. He's hidden behind a bush. Here he comes. Nice shotgun, but now he needs to get out of here quick because he's been spotted. The 705 fires one in and it only gets 435. We're moving as fast as we can. 
We only got 25 hit points left now. The T-123 is moving in on the 705. So we can get around the corner. And the E3 just... I think it was the E3 who hit the uh, 705. I may be wrong. It might be the other way around, though. But we're going around the other side of the rock. They're blasting at each other. Now, if we can get to a position, we might be able to get a shot in there to help the seven, to help our E3. Okay, we're lined up on the 705. He's down to his last few hit points. We're going to do a shotgun at close range. He's going to come around the corner and say, you remember me? Oh, well, he didn't have to because, uh, yes, that 705 went out to the E3 shot. Okay, now got a bunch of enemy tanks up the other end of the map. We've captured their camp area. We're just trying to clean up now and kill the last three enemy. Rounds out in the I-7. Only a splash, which did uh, critical hit damage to the tracks. The gorilla would make a much more tempting target at this stage. He's got his back to us, whilst the 140 is actually putting rounds into their rear. We're almost loaded. The grill is gone. It's just the strip 103B nipped. Round out. Oh, big hit. 240 hit points and stun assist. And the game's about to be over. And it is. Yet another incredibly fast battle, and just look at the results. It's another ace tanker for Oxagon in the Object 261. He also got a bruiser in this one for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got nine, and he got another confederate as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. In fact, he only got the single kill in the game, and that was a lion. Let's have a look at team score. Well, we can see he didn't get the highest damage in this game. That went to one of our lions who got 5,222 hit points of damage. The E3 got 4,168. And the third highest was an enemy lion who got 3,370. Yes, this was when the lions were very popular. Oxagon got 2,184 hit points of damage. There are four members of the enemy team who got more damage than he did and four members of his own team, which means that obviously he managed to get ninth on damage. When it came to kills, though, it was the E3 sharing it with the Object 140 and one of the lions on the enemy team. Then came the object, the other Object 140 on our team, got two kills, and so did one of the lions on the enemy team. And yes, unfortunately, Oxcong only got the single kill, but that doesn't matter because it helped him to get the Confederate. When it came to base XP... He's not at the top of the table. No, the lion with the most damage got there with 1,021, with Oxcon getting 1,002. But he was one of only two players who managed to get over 1,000 bases in the game. The next highest being the E3 who came to save him, and he got 962 base out of that game. He fired 10 rounds in the game. Three direct hits on the enemy, none of them penetrated, but he did get 14 splash because sometimes he was firing up more than one tank at the same time. Uh, they were all grouped together. 2,184 hit points of damage, of which 1,864 were at more than 300 meters. The close one being that 705A, who was really close. I mean, like could see him. And he did receive one hit by way of splash damage. Actually, the it looks like the 705A fired an HE round into him. And instead of an armor piercing and he didn't kill him off he left him on 25 hit points he got nine enemy vehicles damaged one killed and 4979 hit points of stun assist off 13 stuns so his combined damage was actually over 7000 in total and that's why he got the ace tanker on a premium count he earned 49,427 credits for the game 22,242 for battle payments 50,000 for personal missions payout, a total of 146,383 credits altogether. And after repair, ammunition, respawn, and consumables, he took away 82,452 credits profit. He got 1,200, uh, 1,200, 1,002 XP for the battle, 
times two for the first victory took away 3006 experience points altogether so two very very close battles in many ways you can see he's almost identical except for one thing the fighter badge on the cliff game yes he got one well he got four kills on that game but he still managed to get a confederate out of it because he was hitting a lot of the enemy during that battle but in the outpost game well that was a more rough and tumble game because of course the enemy were coming directly for him and that 705 was intent on what on absolutely wiping him out but just failed to do so and thanks to that e3 uh oxagon survived the battle i hope you enjoyed both those replays if you did please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and thank you for watching